Hello, everyone, and welcome to a brand new episode of Brain Worms. It is an absolute treat to have you guys join me as month after month we continue to witness the fabric of civility coming unraveled right before our eyes on the internet. Back off! Again. So buckle up as we once again stoke the flames of stupidity and laugh at people who are unable to exercise even a sliver of restraint and poise when they're out in public. <laughs> Yo, chill, dude. You're borderline cringe right now. All right, yeah, let's let's just get into it. <clears throat> yeah, because you don't know how to use a phone. Oh, oh my God. Come out of here and say that to my Oh, I don't we're got coming to. out of the gate steaming ah! right Go now. Go ahead, keep talking. Come on, you Keep talking. I'm a motherfucker. Hell yeah, keep talking. Get out of here. I'm not the one who doesn't yourself? have money. Get out from behind the Okay. This frame perfectly sums up my first impression, and that is pure unadulterated power. The blue sleeveless on this guy. The glasses clinging to his face by the tip of his nose. He's an intellectual, right? And his decision to leave his neck at home is to have no weak spots in case he gets in a scuffle. You try to put this man in a rear naked choke, good luck, okay? He's sliding out of that thing like a premature baby slides out of a woman on her 13th pregnancy. Mike, you're finished in business. Dave, you're that's it, yeah. I'm showing this to the police, by the way. Go ahead. Don't. Alright, go ahead. I'm calling the police on you. I'm going to show them the video. And they're going to gladly be happy. Go ahead. I'm going to show the police. Oh, I'm so scared. That's perfect. That, I love this Literally, guy. that's beautiful. Now, go ahead. Go ahead. Shove the bone up your ass sideways. Yep, okay. <laughs> Police is gonna see this. They're gonna love hey, this phone. Oh, yeah. From who? I always get such a kick out of people who, who have the audacity to think they have the power single handedly to like leave a bad Yelp review and shut down some sort of cell phone chain store. <laughs> Chris, Dave, your career at Metro PCS is finished. I'm gonna leave a Yelp review about terrible service and now everyone's gonna hear about what you did to me here today. What possibly could have transpired at a Metro PCS to elicit this kind of reaction? I'll tell you what, nothing. This man just has brain worms, clearly. Thank God for the plexiglass. He was wild and unpredictable. You don't know what he's gonna do next. <laughs> So going through the replies here, they were not too kind to this gentleman, but uh, if you're gonna act like that in public, you kind of had it coming. No, no, you can't skateboard with Karen around. Ew. What's wrong with you? No, throw the skateboard out. It's illegal. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> All right. What did this woman hope to accomplish by confronting this group of young kids? Probably skateboarding or like riding their BMX bike on the sidewalk or grinding a rail. As is tradition, there's no context leading up to this, but I can only imagine she probably could have just looked the other way and went on with her day, but it's not go not going so well for her. Oh, she's getting physical. She's throwing Oh, she's throwing judo kicks. Oh my god. Drop the phone. Oh, another one. Oh! Whoa! Oh! Oh! Over the edge! Over the edge! <laughs> that was just so gratifying to see that dude who couldn't defend himself because Crazy Karen was going after him with the karate kicks. Obviously, you can't hit back because it's a woman. And then the one female in the group comes screaming up out of left field with a flying bicycle kick, followed up by a toss out of the ring onto the lawn below. Boy, did that feel good. Oh, the cops are here now. She's pleading her case. Officer, they were skateboarding on the hand railing. Do you not hear the words that are coming out of my mouth? Uh, ma'am, I hate to break this news to you, but we don't give a shit. You are no needed. Well, then you are no longer needed, officer, and I'm just gonna tuck my tail between my legs with a back full of water and grass stains and walk my ass out of here because I just got owned. Imagine you're just sitting in math class, right, doing your work like a good student, and you get a text from your best friend, and she shares this video with you and it's your mother going viral on the internet for karate kicking some dude then getting chest kicked and thrown off a ledge uh and told by the cops to go fuck herself <laughs> just see that one more time please Woo! Woo! 
<laughs> it was at this moment that Karen knew she fucked up. Get back from your highway to hell and get out of a godly man's face! Oh no. No, I will. By your very blind ignorance, you don't have the ability to even come up with your own fucking ideas. I will leave it. When I see, you've not established. This dude is so out of breath right now. Uh, just every classic video on the internet, this it comes in right in the heat of the moment. But it looks as though my man's getting kicked out of Walmart for not wearing a mask, right? Are you exercising your right as a private company? Take away my rights. Jesus Christ. You can, say you can refuse service. Are you refusing my service? Yes. Why don't you say we refuse your service? No, I choose to yell, and you cannot stop me! <laughs> Bye! Please! Like, if they just stop talking to the man, he was on his way out 10 minutes ago, and they keep egging him on. I mean, I get it, but he's got the full Texas garb on, too, of course. Turn to your service of Satan in your ignorant belief that you are right. I mean, the man has a point. It states very clearly in 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 17, He who weareth thine mask at that Walmart bows at the feet of Satan. Please, in the future, respect my rights. No one else's. You will never get my six foot space and then think I'm not gonna tell you. What? What is he saying? Someone's just like, imagine being married to that. Yeah, it's probably a pretty, probably a pretty fire relationship. Uh, just the fact that he actually used the word ignorant is impressive coming out of his mouth. Honestly, I know. Do you want to stop? Don't touch her. Are you gonna Don't touch her. her. Bring that police. Bring that police. You will not. I, I got you on video, so why don't you just go ahead and leave? I have the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Yeah. My happiness is best served by standing in your face and say you are a fool and wrong. You have no authority over me. He goes, I have the right to pursue happiness, and my happiness is best served by standing over you and telling you you're a fool and you're wrong and you have no authority over me. These are poignant words from a man that clearly has his shit together. I all have proof. <laughs> Not me, damn. Because you're you? trying to fight everybody in the goddamn Bullshit. store. The fight involves <laughs> contact, doesn't it? Yeah, and you're about in my f***ing contact, bro. You got you're about in my contact. And when you got my face and threatened to hit me, you were this close, bitch. Because you, you stepped up. Uh, listen, this man's brain may be completely fucked, but his fit is on fire. Look at this. Texas sweatpants, Texas hat, matching orange Texas gloves. And look at the ice around the neck, too. I don't really know what's going on there. It looks like... It looks like a lanyard with this keychain, maybe like a, I think there's a whistle, like a referee whistle on there somewhere. It's probably a youth football coach. I had a couple of these growing up playing Pop Warner. <laughs> By the way, quick shout out to Nick Ottinger and the rest of you guys that hit me with the tag on Twitter uh, with the brain worms. You know it's my lifeblood. Does anybody know who this guy is? Why isn't he infamous yet? And this is why you gotta have restraint and poise when you're out in public, okay? I don't agree with this shit, but there's always people in the replies. That video's got 11 and a half million views, and you know that all these cucks on the internet immediately are trying to find out where this guy works, find out who his family is, and ruin his life over some shit like this, all right? I get it, he acted like an asshole. I think responding by trying to blow up the man's life over a Twitter video is just as pathetic, uh, but that is the way things go these days. No, that's my because first time you don't bowling. know how to wait your turn when you're bowling next to my family. How do I have to wait a turn? We're on different lanes. That's the problem. You see, you're not supposed to go when other people are going because I can be a professional and you could be screwing me up. I can see your score. You're definitely not a professional. You finished the well, game with 40 points. Well, I took some pictures of you and your family. So somebody tagged me in the replies of this Karen video, and after watching it, my mind is blown, but not for the reason you might think. Let's finish it up here. That's and kind I'm of weird. You because you don't know bullying etiquette. Go ahead and show them. You don't, I don't know care. bullying etiquette. I don't you care. You don't know bullying etiquette. Okay. The man right there recording me. He's recording me. And yeah, I am. Physically assault me and he called me a slur. Yeah, you're a bitch. <laughs> don't you dare follow me to my car. 7.8 million views, almost 500,000 likes, and 106,000 retweets just on Twitter. This girl's a TikToker. She's got other accounts. I'm sure it has more impressions than that. If you can't tell on the first pass, 
that this video is faker than a pair of LA tits, then you, my friend, need to be euthanized. A lot of people got it, but if you go through the almost 8,000 replies to this video, there is a staggering, staggering amount of people that do not realize that this was a skit. And that, my friends, perfectly sums up Twitter.com. The arguing over bowling etiquette, the use of a phone that's like 15 years old as a blatant meme, the talking to the manager part that was filmed like that because clearly there's no manager there, and then the getting stormed at the end piece to Stole send it off. So this chick and her boyfriend make this video, I don't know, as a joke in order to try and bait people to get some retweets and maybe go viral. And holy shit did it work and they didn't even have to make a mildly convincing video. And scrolling through these comments was just a glaring reminder to me that there is no prerequisite of IQ or intelligence in order to own or operate a Twitter account. It is literally just millions and millions of morons myself included, screaming into the void, trying to dunk on each other, trying to prove a point by sharing a clip out of context you know nothing about because it feeds your confirmation bias. Twitter is designed to keep us addicted to being pissed off, so we come back day after day, scrolling mindlessly, looking for that one person we can dunk on and get that rush of dopamine to make us feel something even for an instant. And because of that, fake videos like this are able to get 8 million views and 82,000 retweets when they aren't even convincing. And that phenomenon, is basically political Twitter in a nutshell. Thank you so much for coming to my TED Talk. Get out your neighborhood bylaw. It's section 5.20. Uh -oh. No sign shall be in the yard. <laughs> if you don't take this Harris Biden shit down, there it is. I will right sue you. <laughs> and I was going to have you sell my house but that's not going to happen now, and you're going to lose a lot of business because of this crap. You get out your neighborhood association bylaws. If you roll up to your neighbor's house with a printed out packet of the neighborhood association bylaws, you might have brain worms. Imagine getting this pressed over a campaign sign. You get out your neighborhood association bylaws, section 5.20. <laughs> Take the sign. Take the sign. Oh, she didn't even kick the sign over? Absolute pussy. Five and a half million views. What are we doing here? What? She did not. She did not roll up on her boy at Target in a bride's in a, in a wedding dress with a pastor and a bridesmaid. You better marry me right now or I'm taking a walk. Like we're getting married now or like it's over. She did. She looks Woo! like she did. Do it. <laughs> I'm shaking. Oh my god. Someone have told me that? Uh, honey, you think we could uh, maybe, just, maybe just talk about this outside real, just briefly, just real quick, and then we can come back in, maybe hit the nuptials up. Just need a moment, though, if we could. This is a lose-lose situation, if I've ever seen one. Ladies, if you have to roll up on your man working at Target with a wedding dress and a pastor because he's not ready to commit after proposing two years ago, might be time to move on, find another man that can match that energy. Fellas, so, if so. your girl rolls up on you in a Target with a wedding dress and a pastor and a bridesmaid and wants to force you to marry her on the spot, you might have found a crazy bitch. Time to take that wedding ring back and see if you can't get a couple bucks for it at the pawn shop. 10 out of 10 tweet though, if you thought your relationship was bad, just take a look at this video and it could be worse. Thank you to those who tagged me in some of these and thank you so much guys for watching i never get sick of this shit so as long as this fireplace behind me stays warm i'm gonna keep doing them i would appreciate the hell out of you if you would subscribe if you haven't and for those of you that have been asking and waiting patiently yes new merch drop is coming and i got a little teaser here for you by popular demand we got some brain worms merch on the way and i'm pumped because i was able to collaborate with one of my personal favorite artists if you go to tomatomafia.com you can drop your email address you'll get a discount on your first order and you'll get notified when the drop goes live lastly i've been streaming on twitch like do they have to explain this to their families like how do you how do you look at your grandkids in the eyes and after they see a video like this? Love to see you at the streams. And before you go, if you could drop your pants and hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me, it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you in the next video. Peace. Yeah. 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 Yeah.